Hey, this is James. Uh, today I'm going to show you something a little bit different from the last few weeks. I'm going to use the beam tool to create some uh, straight ramps and how we can combine this with the uh, modifiers and the profile manager. So kind of a combination of the two. Uh, I could use a GDL object, uh, for example, or a couple of other techniques like mesh, uh, etc. But for this, I'm going to use the beam, and hopefully, it'll <laughs> hopefully it'll be useful. So I'm going to just start uh, plotting out the beams, uh, at least the first one, and then we'll create the profile. So in my first segment, I'm going to make five meters. And okay, so I can see that it's on the wrong story. So it's on the first, switch to the ground, and it's at zero. So let's say for now, we'll just start with the one beam and I'm going to open up the profile manager and I'll create the profile we want uh, that the ramp uh, looks like. So in the profile manager, I'm gonna create a new profile. I call this ramp. And OK. And with my fill tool, I'm just going to choose concrete. And I'm going to just create a couple of fills here. So the first one I'm going to make the whole width 1200 and the height just 100 uh, mil. And I want uh, this to be in the center. So where the uh, reference point is here. So I'm just going to drag it into position from the center point of this fill to the origin. And I'm just going to move out my nominal, but uh, I actually don't need the nominal um, visible. So I'm just going to hide that. Okay, so that's a bit cleaner. And I'm just going to get my fill and draw uh, a couple of boxes on the sides to indicate kind of curbs to the uh, to the ramp. So let's say the width is 150 and the height will be 200 and enter. Okay, so I'll copy this one to the other side. So I'm just going to drag a copy to the other side. Okay, so that's a good start. So let's hit save and I'm going to use this for beam and not for wall. So then we'll hit save and I'm going to go back to my floor plan. And with this beam that we drew, I'm going to apply this profile that we just created. Okay, so now it has the right uh, width, which is going to be 1.5. So from this one, I'm just going to pick up the properties. So the new beams that I draw are going to be the same. We'll use the same profile. And I'm going to draw a short beam that is 750. So it's just half. And then I'm going to draw Actually, I'm going to copy these both because we want to go up and then up. And then from these two points, I'm going to connect. And at the top, we also kind of want to return. So I'm going to add another 750 and another 750 so it returns. Okay. Well, let's have a look at that in 3D. Obviously, it's going to be flat. So let's start with the first ramp, so here. I'm just gonna grab the end point and I'm gonna use the uh, angle. And let's say this is gonna be 10, oops, not the distance, but the angle. So 10, maybe it's a little bit steep, but we'll stick with 10 and enter. And I'm gonna adjust the other one while I'm here. So I'm gonna click on the other end and say the angle is also 10 degrees. Okay, so now I need to select these components and with the drag command and the Z plane, I'm just going to snap them to the end of uh, the first one. So here they're connected. And I'm gonna get the last two parts, click drag and just drag those vertically up so they connect with the end of this one. Okay, so that's a good start. But uh, actually, one thing I can see is that the texture is using this kind of um, uh, boards, but I actually want to clear this out to make it look, look a little bit simpler. 
So what I might do for now is I'm going to just select all my beams, uh, open up the settings dialog, and at first I'm going to just change to black so it's a little bit more visible. So in my floor plan and section, my uncut pen, I'm just going to choose to a black pen so they should be a little bit more visible. And I'm just going to go to my segments and I'm going to change the overrides to something a little more plain. That's a little bit better uh, visibility uh, in the... Uh, uh, actually, let's just um, choose a white for now. So it's a cleaner. So it doesn't have that texture. Okay, so that looks a little bit neater. Okay, so currently there's this floating and I actually want to bring down these edges so it kind of boxes all of this out. Um, and then maybe there's going to be a wall kind of at the back, uh, etc. So for now, I just want to kind of box this out. So what I could do is draw some walls and then do a trim or a solid element operation. Uh, but that's kind of a little bit messy or it just uh, requires more elements and some more actions. So what I'm going to use instead is the parametric uh, profile abilities to be able to kind of stretch down uh, these curves. I'm going to hit edit to this ramp that we created and I'm going to create two new modifiers which is going to be ramp curb, uh, let's say left. Okay, and I'm going to pick the bottom point that I want to reference and I want to connect to the point of the fill on the right. So if I hover over this corner and press tab to switch to the, so I will just, uh, because there's two fills overlapping, and then I connect it to the right uh, fill and then place the, uh, the modifier dimension. But for the other side, I'm just going to do the same thing, but a little bit different way. So I'm just going to drag this out and then make a new modifier and say ramp curb right. And choose this bottom edge and just click on this open uh, point. So I want to reference this edge to this point, then place the dimension. Now I can just mo move this uh, fill back to where it was and the dimension is still intact. So I find this maybe it's a little bit easier because you, so you can just move the points away and then kind of uh, drag and then drag the fill back. So you can see uh, a little bit clearer which point you're connecting to. I'm um, just going to make sure that it's going down. So the arrow is pointing downwards. Uh, to change that, I just can click on this little arrow here. Because it's zero, it's not always clear which way, which direction this uh, edge will move. So we can just click on the um, the edge itself, the little arrow, to kind of flip it. So pointing down is what we want. And the other side, yep, also pointing down. So that's good. And let's hit save. So now I'm going to go into 3D and then start extending these edges down. So if we get the first ramp, if I just uh, extend this edge down, then you can see it's uniform. So I actually just want to extend this, uh, uh, this because I want to basically a flat base here. So I don't want the, the whole thickness to go. So what we can do with 23, we can switch this beam to be a tapered segment. So I've gone from a uniform to a tapered segment. And that allows me to change the modifiers per end. So now when I click on the blue line and then use the offset, uh, offset edge, the one we defined with the modifier, I can now just modify this one end and not affect the both ends simultaneously. So I want this end to actually align with the beginning point. I'm just going to snap to that end. So that's now created a flat line. So what I'm going to do is uh, do it the same for, for this. I'm going to push this down. And um, let's do it for this as well. I think this one is less necessary. 
uh, and then let's do it for this ramp as well. So I need to switch this to a tapered segment and the first, the first edge I'm also going to push down and this edge I'm also going to push down to the lines and because there's another edge in there actually there's a few so there's this one there's this one and this one but because it's kind of hidden uh, I think we won't need to worry about that so as long as it looks good from the outside but uh, I probably could push these edges down just to clean up and uh, this edge on the inside but it's on the inside so uh, I won't worry just yet and I'll do the same for this one but I does, it just needs to be uniform so not the tapered and this last segment I will also push down okay so that gives us the kind of ramp system that we want and okay so that's a good start so this might be, there might be a wall here or there might not be. But I can see, so I could add a, a railing uh, to this, but what I can do is also put a, just a uh, uh, indication of kind of a, uh, a railing directly in this profile. So if I go edit again, and I'm just gonna draw another fill. I'm gonna move it, so I'm just gonna use uh, this top point so let's say this is uh, going to be uh, the width is maybe just 50 mil and the height I think around 850 just because there's already a, uh, a step up here and hit OK. Okay, so I want this to be centered on top of the curving so I'm just going to drag it out, find the center point, sorry, press drag center point and then drag it onto this, this block center point and I just want to raise it up uh, do that again so raise it up maybe just a 50 so there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom and this panel I'm just going to turn to glass just as an indication so more of a concept um, uh, concept kind of the railing so I'll say it's glass uh, obviously too thick, but again, just to, to indicate. Then drag a copy to the other side, and I'm going to hit save. Um, now we may not need the, this on both sides, but let's have a look at how that uh, results, because we could add another modifier to be able to turn them off. So I'll hit save and go back to my um, 3D. And ah uh, yes, because I modified the, so what I'm gonna do is select all. And because we had overridden the whole extrusion, I'm actually gonna turn this off. Yep, so now we're using the um, surfaces by the building materials and in the prof uh, profile itself, I'm gonna select these three. And they're using concrete, but I'm just going to override the surfaces for these three and override these with the white. So I've just painted them basically in the profile, but these ones uh, are still glass. Okay, so let's check that again in 3D. Okay, so let's modify that, but then the railing sitting on top is uh, still okay. Okay. So I could go into a bit more detail about like if there was a wall here, but I think maybe this video is kind of long enough. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in um, a little more about kind of the junctions and things like this, then I could possibly go through that uh, in, another, in another video. So let me know. But for now, uh, thanks and see you in the next one. Bye.